We've been working on the soundtrack for Electric Skies. What we did is use the opportunity to bring out a bunch of songs we've been working on over the last couple of years that haven't had the opportunity to see the light of day yet. So we've picked out our favourites that we felt the drones would like to play with, the sonic textures and sounds and harmonisations. It's a beautiful opportunity for us to represent South Australia. Like, South Australia is one of the richest states for language and groups and different tribes here. To have little Natania, our little five-year-old daughter, niece, and then our sister, Sandra, who's in the 80s mark. Like, just having these three different generations, me included, in it, it's a really beautiful opportunity for us to embrace what Jokurba means. Like, Jokurba means, in my language, like our culture, our song, our dance. And that's what's in this project as well. It's very, very special. It's a very strong storyline and songline we get to experience and share it to our state and our country and then eventually the globe. For us, when we create the music, it actually, we feel it, not just the actual vibrations, but that spirit part of us gets an emotional colour, like the colour of the harmony. So you don't actually have to be Anungo or Aboriginal, you just have to be human because we're all responding with the same instrument. The songs, especially when it comes to the Inmas, there's a sense of clarity, there's a sense of space, there's a sense of identity, not as an identity, but your ness, your being. Taking all the labels and stripping that all away, it makes sense on that country. A lot of these song lines are my thank you to nature. Some of the lyrics are not a known language. <laughs> They're kind of channeled and it's actually the shape and the sound rather than the actual meaning. Like there's actual blank canvas lyrics in there for you to paint your own story on. But then we'll kind of nudge you in the right direction by with saying float out into the middle and I'll meet you there. I'll meet you in the middle of the river, just sort of float out. And a lot of our music operates on innocence before it grows into masculinity or femininity or any inity. <laughs> it's just we try to stay where it feels good, where there's no bother, there's no sense of violence. It's innocence first, surrender, knowing thyself. Hopefully that the people, when they hear this soundtrack, they centre themselves and stay still with it and feel themselves again or feel themselves for the first time. <laughs>